the end of the year Everywhere on TV Couples and Christmas trees Gift wrapping and cheer Just the worst time to be with a someone special In all the movies there Kissing in the snow Holding hands and mittens Baking together at home Not like the movies when I'm walking in the snow Cold hands and mittens Eating gingerbread home alone I dream of December nights Kissing under bright lights Snowflakes in my head Carols playing in the air I dream of December nights Kissing under bright December the 2nd. Happy Vlogmas! Oh my god, is this our first holiday vlog? I think it is. To celebrate, I got a Snoopy mug at Home Goods. As y'all can see, I have been busy today. I had a Costco order so I could um, get like some things I needed for Arthur's care package. I went to Home Goods. I got the dog some new toys. You can hear Diego's squeak ball in the background. We'll see how long my sanity is gonna last on that. And I packed Arthur's first deployment box. So um, super exciting stuff. I'm about to go get ready because tonight is December nights at Balboa Park. And we are going to dinner at Cucina Urbana and then we're gonna head over to the park. Um, Art's mom and dad are gonna be coming with me and then Ashley's gonna meet us there. So let me go get ready. Oh, and I got my nails done. Look how cute they are. They're like so festive. Can you use what focus? They're like little bows. I love them. All right, let's get ready. Here we are arriving at Casina Urbana, which is located directly across from Balboa Park. We got there around 6.30, and as you can see, it was already really busy. We paid $25 for parking. We had requested an indoor seating, but unfortunately they were super booked, so we ended up sitting out on the patio, but they had these giant heaters, and it kept us really warm. We started off with some Brussels sprouts, which were delicious. I had the braised beef bolognese, Art's dad had pork chops, and mom had this delicious filleted fish that was actually prepared in the pizza oven. So a lot of food, it was scrumdilyumptious and perfect timing and positioning for December nights. December nights is a time honored event in San Diego and probably one of the biggest holiday celebrations and the whole city really does come out for it. So I'm excited to take you guys through the park. All right vlog, so I'm with the parents. Everybody say hi. hi. It's a Taylor gang night. 
We just finished dinner. Oh! <laughs> we just finished dinner at Casino Urbana and we're headed to December nights. So December nights happens like normally the first weekend of December in San Diego. This is the first year since the pandemic you've been able to walk through it. And they're estimating like 350,000 people are going to come through the park tonight and tomorrow night. So we're going to take you guys with us. It's going to be fun. Holiday festivities for Vlogmas starting now. <laughs> To get into Balboa Park, you go over this gorgeous bridge that has a direct view into San Diego downtown skyline. As you can see, the flight was coming in. The first thing that you get to see is the ginormous bell tower and a little snowflakes over the archway. There are a lot of different performers set up throughout the park. This is one of the hip hop performers who was out there to greet you as you were going into the park, which was kind of fun and neat. Our first stop was the Museum of Us. The really cool thing about December nights is Balboa hosts tons of museums and on these two nights in December, the ones that are open are completely free to go and tour. So we went to the Museum of Us. They had this little setup where you could write a message to future generations. This is mom and I writing down our message and then putting it in the little slot. Next, we went to the Beerology exhibit, which is a huge draw for the Museum of Us. As you know, my husband, Art, loves beer, and we thought he would love seeing this in the vlog, especially the part where the mural said it's an integral to our culture, but we toured that and it was cool. Next stop is the Old Globe Theater, where everything is Dr. Seuss themed. So normally the Grinch is sitting under the Christmas tree, but he wasn't out there this year, which was a little bit disappointing, but we got to see the gorgeous tree, the little Grinch peeking over the gift shop, and the bell tower on the side was lit up with snowflakes. Super, super festive and gorgeous. As I had mentioned, there were tons of musical performers set out throughout the park. This was the first one. It was just like a band with a lady singing holiday carols, which was pretty cool. Next, we headed over to the Sprinkles Pavilion, but we couldn't head there without saying hi to Santa. This is all of his reindeer pulling his sled into the night sky. Such a cute little magical touch. At the Sprinkles Pavilion, they had live music. As you can see, it was packed. They told the Christmas story of Jesus's birth, and then they had carolers to kind of narrate throughout the show. And that Christmas tree was just beautiful and magical and gorgeous. Here's a little bit of that. We headed over towards the Prado, a very popular restaurant in Balboa Park, and they had this nice little DJ situation set up. They were playing a lot of Latin vibes, Latin mixes, and I was really surprised that there were not more people over there. Next, we continued to walk towards the fountain, and as you can see, this was kind of like food truck row. There was so much food to choose from, and if you are a foodie, it's like foodie heaven, but as you can see, we ate before we went, so we weren't super hungry, and we didn't get a lot of snacks. We were just kind of walking through the crowd, and this was kind of fun. This is kind of where we got vlog bombed. Someone jumped in front of our camera um, to be on the video, so shout out to you if you were the person who jumped in front appreciate you. Hopefully you watch the video later. They also had tons of merch vendors. I took this opportunity to do a little Raider hating. Unfortunately, they didn't have my Chiefs team up there. Um, but overall, this was such a fun experience. There was a live music stage set up everywhere. We visited the little houses that represent every single country. And overall, it was just a stunning 
experience this shot gives you an idea of how many people were at the park and this was night one they actually did this two nights in a row over at the united states house they had this old dial-up phone which was kind of cool i thought i would show that because some people probably aren't even gonna know like what it is so overall i had a really fun night with art's parents but then i made my way home to my papalupicuses and buddy was there to greet me at the door all right guys so we just got back from december nights in balboa park i went with our mom and dad ash was supposed to go with us tonight but she didn't feel too good um i'm tired today was such a busy day today was supposed to be my rest day i did not rest okay like i did a whole deployment care package i went and bought these babies new toys this is his new Christmas ball. <laughs> this is what you guys don't see behind the scenes. And then Buddy's new toy. He got a new Snoopy. Is this your Snoop? Is that your Snoopy toy? Is it your Snoopy toy? Is that your Snoop? Is it your Snoopy toy? He <laughs> like newbie. He sounds all big and tough, but but he's the sweetest. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> these guys are so excited. I don't know what I was thinking. Getting these squeak balls for Diego. This is like my insanity level is probably gonna be like through the roof, but he likes them. You can't get both of them. <laughs> uh, they're so excited. Anyways, tonight was really fun. We ate at one of my favorite restaurants called Cucina Urbana. Um, if you're going to Balboa nights, I recommend doing that because they have valet parking. So we parked um, for $25 at Cucina Urbana and then you can just walk into the park from there and you have parking until 10 30 p.m and you're covered so it was nice there's so much food like at December nights but obviously like we ate before then um but I mean if you want to go for the food it's a vibe they have like so many food trucks they have like all the different houses from the different like countries that you can check out and it was just it was fun Whew. I am tired though. My rest day was not, it was not restful at all. So I am committed to the fact that like my next day off, I'm not doing anything. Like my next two days off, I'm going to be up here in this house chilling with these dogs, cleaning probably, and playing with their toys. <laughs> so that's, that's my goal for my next days off is to just actually rest. So I'm tired. I just got back. I'm going to go take a nice hot bath and get some hot tea. Honestly, it was like 60 degrees tonight. Like I thought it was going to be colder, but it wasn't. I doubled up um, my tights. I don't know if you can see this. And then I wore my brown vest over it. Um, and I was really warm. Like I brought my hand gloves, but I didn't even need it. So um, it was a beautiful Southern California night and we had a lot of fun. So I'm going to go and hang out with my babies. Look at these dogs, you guys. Like, how cute. Look at you. Are you hugging your Snoop? Are you hugging your Noopy? Yeah? Is that your Noopy? You don't want to share your new toy? Oh, I love you too, bud. He doesn't want to share his new toy with Diego. Ooh, the lighting's better this way. Okay, Christmas tree, come through. <laughs> I love you too, bud. I love you too. <laughs> oh, my doggo. My big old baby. Aww. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Oh, I love you too. I love you too, bud, bud. I love you too. Bye, bud.
get your Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. He's mine. You can't have him. <laughs> okay, you can have him back. Guess who's getting jelly? These, these dogs are doing a lot. Buddy wants to be on camera. I'm like in all black. I'm going to be covered in fur. I got all my loving for my boys. These guys keep me company. <laughs> Buddy's such a snuggler. <laughs>